In this video, we will show you how to replace your steering position sensor. On this Chevy Tahoe, this will be located directly underneath your driver's side dash attached to the steering column. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that you'll notice is I have the steering wheel turned a quarter turn to the left. That is only for the first step. Once we've completed that, we're going to make sure that the steering wheel and the wheels themselves are facing straight ahead and then we'll tie off the steering wheel in that position. Let's make our way underneath the driver's side dash. What we're looking for is where the steering intermediate shaft connects to the upper shaft. In this area, with the steering wheel turned to the left, you'll find a 15 millimeter nut. Remove it, leave the bolt in place. There's that. At this point, we'll pause under here and make our way back up top. Now at this point, let's put the key in the on position and we'll straighten out the wheel, making sure that the steering wheel and the wheels themselves are as straight as possible. Remove the key. Now we can make our way underneath the hood. It's time to disconnect the negative battery terminal. We'll do that using an eight millimeter. Set that aside so it's making no contact with the battery. Now that we have the battery disconnected, make your way back into the passenger compartment. Once again, we are confirming that the steering wheel is as straight as possible, and so are both of the front wheels. Once you've done that, continue on with some wire ties. We're going to be taking this and putting it around the steering wheel right here, and then we'll also bring it up around the shifter knob. This doesn't need to be very tight. It just needs to make sure that this steering wheel will not be able to turn all the way in one rotation or the other. Now with everything nice and straight, we're underneath the dash. We're going to remove that bolt. I'll just slide it right out of here, a little wiggle. That's what that looks like right there. We can set this aside after a close inspection. Continue on to removing the steering shaft from the steering wheel. Once again, you cannot remove this unless that steering wheel is mounted in place with something such as a strap or even wire ties. I'll just press this right off of here. Get this out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is move along to this area. For this, you'll find that there's a black locking clip that makes its way all the way around. It's circular. For that locking clip, there's going to be three locking tabs. There's one over here, there's one over on the far side, and then there's another one that's a little harder to get to up along the top. We'll get the two that are easier to get to first. Just use a pick and gently pry it out of place. Commonly, if you get two of them loose, the other one will kind of just separate fairly easily. Look at that, just popped right off, perfect. I'll grab that little bracket, locking clip I mean. We'll give it a quick inspection so you can see exactly what it looks like. And now we can set this aside. Once we've done that, we'll continue on to the wiring harness. For this wiring harness, you'll find that you have one locking clip right here. Carefully get underneath it with your pick and then separate the wiring harness. Give that wiring harness a quick check for corrosion. If you see any funny colors, that will need to be dealt with. We can set this aside. Now at this point, we can gently pry this out of place. Be extremely careful not to damage anything such as this white area making its way all the way around. If you damage that, you will have to replace that as well. Get in between this area and gently pry it out of place. This is going to be sliding off of the shaft. Work it off of there. All right, and there it is, friends. Okay, friends, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new steering position sensor. There's a couple things that I want to point out. You'll find where the electrical connector is located, just along the side of it, you have this one little alignment tab. 
That's important to note because if you were to look underneath the vehicle, when you go to put this in position, there's a small slot for this to align with. If you don't have it lined up perfectly, you're going to find that you have a light that comes on on your dash. You'll also notice along the backside right here, you have this small tab. That is removable, but you do not remove that yet until we have this actually in place and aligned properly. Now with that said, let's get ready for the installation. Now before we put the sensor onto the shaft, I had mentioned that there is a slot in the bracket area where that little tab needs to go that's on the sensor. That's located close towards where the accelerator pedal would be located as well. Now with that pointed out, we'll carefully start sliding this into position. Make sure you have it in the proper direction. Let's get this aligned with the shaft first. What you might find is while you're pressing this on, it doesn't align properly. If that's the case, just go ahead and carefully start turning that steering wheel a tiny bit until everything aligns the way that it should. Continue pressing it on. Once you have it in the proper position, just confirm that the electrical connector area is sitting perfectly and that one alignment tab is also sitting perfectly inside of the plastic bracket. We'll make sure that this is pressed in as far as possible. With that pressed fully into position, at this point, you can reach up along the top of that steering shaft and remove the pin. Pull that right out of there. Now we can install the locking bracket. Alongside of each one of the three locking tabs, you're going to find that you have a secondary tab. That thinner secondary tab will actually slide inside of the bracket. So while we put this into position and align the locking tabs, you also wanna make sure that you have those thinner tabs on the inside. The locking tabs go along the outside. We'll get this in position and lock it in. Double check all the way around. Now we can start aligning that steering shaft. We'll take this and put it in position and slide it up and in. To get this properly aligned, it is possible you might have to turn the steering wheel from one side or the other. Double check to make sure it's all the way in the proper positioning. Once you've done that, you can continue on with your mounting bolt. That bolt will come through from the passenger side towards the driver's side. Slide that right into position. Now at this point, we can reconnect our electrical connector. Press that in, listen for a click, and make sure that it is secure. Now let's get out from under the dash. Back under the hood, we'll reconnect that negative battery terminal. Make sure that you start that mounting bolt in by hand so you do not cross thread it into position. Use your eight millimeter to make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want this being loose, otherwise you'll find that you have a runnability issue and possibly starting problems. Let's give that a wiggle to make sure that it is secure. Once you've done that, you can close the hood and make your way back to that passenger compartment. From inside the passenger compartment, let's remove that safety strap. Put the key in the on position. The vehicle does not have to be running. Now we'll turn the wheel one quarter turn to the left. With it in that position, remove the key. Make your way back underneath the driver's side dash. Make our way under here with our last mounting nut. Let's get this right in position. Start it on by hand, obviously. Now we'll snug this up and then torque it to 37 foot pounds. Torqued. Okay friends, we finished our installation. At this point, we need to test the functionality. Put the key in the ignition, start up your vehicle. Turn the wheel all the way to one side and then all the way to the other. If you do not have a light that pops up on your dash, the installation is complete. Take your vehicle for a road test and I recommend getting yourself an alignment. Perfect. Thanks for watching. 
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.